have a swollen knee after an injury uh, and there's a pop associated with the injury, oftentimes there's blood in the knee. The knee is swollen so the patient can't flex the knee without significant pain and the loss of flexion doesn't allow them to walk properly. So, okay, so first I start with isopropyl alcohol and I clean the knee off just to get things as, as, clean, as, as clean as possible because the worst thing that can ever happen to somebody after an injection is get a, a deep infection, which is catastrophic. This is gonna be a beta dine stick, and we have to outline our anatomy. We have a patella, the edge of the patella, quadriceps tendon, I can feel the quadriceps tendon right there, lower portion of the patella. The IT band comes up like this, so right about right there, my finger kind of drops into a little spot right there, right here, a little soft spot right there, Quadriceps is right there. You doing okay, sir? Yeah. I'm very good, thank you. I make an indentation. See that indentation is my target. There you go like that. You go outward with the beta dense swab. I'm not going to touch the center again except with the sterile needle in just a second, okay? So that's what we do with that. Then the next step is we're just gonna numb the skin right there. 27 gauge needle, one one percent. Plain lidocaine, little cold spray, little sterile cold spray right into that spot just to make it comfy for the patient. Like that. A little, a little shake. You go nice and slow with the lidocaine. It doesn't burn too much. Let it sit there for just a, a few seconds. The pair is going to start with a 10 cc, you know, 10 cc syringe, 22 gauge needle. Set that up. I'm taking my time setting this up so that we can let that lidocaine work. Give it a little squeeze right here with my thumb. A little squeeze, a little shake. Okay. And now we pull. See? Was that okay, sir? Yeah, it's fine. Did you feel that? Nope. And then see, as expected, it's blood. Now you see my hand orientation here? I'm aiming up. A little bit up, okay? And... I'm under the knee, I'm under the patella, superior pole. It's called a suprapatellar area. And you want to do it right and you want to do it without causing pain. The best the best thing to do is know your anatomy, numb things up nicely. And if you follow the technique that I just showed you, there shouldn't really be a lot of pain. Knee aspirations don't need to hurt. Just let the patients know that they should be comfortable. That way they're nice and relaxed. And in this case, the patient's lying down, nice and relaxed. And if you do it right, it won't hurt. So hopefully that uh, demonstration is helpful and more importantly, helpful for your next patient. Thank you.